All right, g'day guys, welcome back to another video. So today, like I said in a previous video, I ordered myself a new grill for the ute. So it arrived this week, I'll give you a look there. Nice matte black, it's got the honeycomb in it, in, the, in there. So that's gonna be swapping out the uh, standard uh, Toyota grill. Take away that shininess and put, put something a bit darker in there because like I said in videos long ago, um, I'm not a big fan of shiny stuff in vehicles, so it's got to go. So this is going to replace it. So that's what's in store for this video. Yeah, I've always been a little crazy. Yeah, I've always been a little strange, but I'm just doing me and living life, baby. Uh, so no need to explain. I've always been a little crazy. It stopped me from going in. And all the small talk, yo, it don't phase me Making memories, it's time to turn the page Alright, so I'm trying to remember where I was up to here Because I got called into work just after I'd done the intro there So, uh, it's been like two hours since I actually done the intro So I'm trying to remember where I'm up to But, um, so this is the grill here Nice matte black, it's got the two, two vents up here And then the, the main big one down here uh, this is through Cobra 4x4, I think they're called, but um, off eBay. I buy everything off eBay, but that's uh, the mob that it comes from. Uh, there's two types. There's one with the vents and the bit of divider, and then there's one with just, yeah, the whole, whole solid open piece in the middle there. Um, so we're going to start off here. I'll bring this closer in a sec, but 10mm uh, socket. Um, you've got screw here, here, and there's one here as well. So you've got three on the top. So you're just going to want to take them out and hopefully it should just come out. Looks like it's got a little tab that sort of locks into down in there. We'll take these out and see how we go. Alright, just going to take these out. Should be a pretty straightforward sort of swap out hopefully. There's obviously no instructions with it but you don't need instructions. But I did look up a video on how to do it just to get a rough idea of how it's done. And it seems, seems simple enough. So now, hopefully this should just pop out somehow. Bear with me. All right, okay, so there is a little tab in the bottom that you just gotta push over. All right, there we go. Bring them out. Like so. That's the grill out. That goes that way. So they, they come out, just your little, little tabs, two of them come out. And then you can see on the bottom here, they've got it. Got its own ones on there. So that, go down in there. Right, that's in there. All right, sorry if it was a bit all over the place there, but what I had to do, um, these are the little clips. A bit hard to see there. Yeah, they're the ones that come with the grill, but they weren't really sitting down. They've got a spot that they've got to sit in there. Um, they weren't really sitting in there properly. So what I did, I used the uh, the old ones, the stock ones off the original grill, um, and they fit in there nicely and clip straight in. So there's a little bit of little bit of messing around in there. So if you're gonna do it yourself, just uh, yeah, just double check your the little clip things there. But apart from that, it is pretty straightforward. So now all I gotta do is put them screws back in, put them back in, and then they should be right to go. Just do them up tight, hand tight, don't over tighten them otherwise you'll end up split plastic and shit. So, that's all in there now. What I'll do, I'll give you a look. It's a bit hard to see with the ball bar in the way, but essentially that's the new grill. Yeah. Bit hard to see because of the ball bar, but so yeah, there's your three screws. You've got one, two, Three. And just down there. A bit hard to see. But just, yeah, down the bottom there. And that's the old one. All right. So the grill's in. Uh, what I probably should do before I get too carried away is test to see if it's affected by the bonnet at all. Not too bad at all. Very good. So. Um, for anyone that's got a UHF or spotlights like myself, uh, 
which I've got to remember to do that. Uh, you're going to have to feed your wires back through the grill. I didn't. I was going to do this the other day when I actually got the grill, um, but what I had to do, uh, one of the blokes at work said, "Oh, what about your UHF aerial?" I said, "What about it?" He said, "Doesn't that run through your grill?" Fuck. So that caused a problem in itself. So originally I was just going to cut it because I'm getting another aerial anyway, um, but I didn't want to cut it just in case I still wanted to use it um, until I get the other one. So I had to feed it all the way back through all back through here and pull it out through the grill. So I've got that tied up there. And then of course, just had to pull the, unplug the spotlights and then pull the wire through. That's what I was just having a bit of trouble with, uh, with all the wires and shit being in the road. Right back up. We've got a new grill. So like I said, I've been just trying to get rid of all the chrome, shiny shit off of it. Eventually I'll probably look at buying, I might get some black, uh, weather shields and bonnet protector in that as well through the same mob that Cobra 4x4. Yeah, so then next is coming, it will be the aerial and then one of those eye drives. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, pretty straightforward thing to do um, if you don't have to you know, take out um, aerial cables and um, spotlight cables, all that stuff. And then, yeah, just remember, just those little clips. Uh, just double check to see if they actually fit first. They do fit in there, but they're just not, they've got like a little notch in them there, and that didn't quite fit in. So I just ended up using the, just using the standard ones that came with you in the original grill. So anyway guys, uh, nice little, another video for you. So I'll probably see you in the next one, I suppose. Um, Alright, so, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, press that bell button so you know notified every time I upload a new video. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. I've done a video installing the uh, bonnet struts and the cup holder on the passenger side. I've done a video on them a couple of weeks ago. So go check them out. Worth a watch if you've got a 79 and you want to start doing a few things like that to it. Um, yeah, share the channel around. Get them numbers up, remember. Um, and check out my TikTok as well. I've got videos over there. So wild underscore bushman01. Um, so that's about it. Anyway guys, stay safe out there. Well, I hate it. Oh well. They're trying to pull you down when you're having a good day. Get out my way. Ray Charles to the bullshit. You like to stay pop, they always want to delay. Not today. Ray Charles to the bullshit.